Welcome to the Wolverine Videocast. I'm John Borton. This is Jerry Hanlon, longtime uh, Michigan football coach. And uh, he's back for another segment uh, on the whiteboard. Coach, welcome back. Well, it's nice to be back, John. We got a couple of uh, different segments today. We have had questions about the role and responsibility of the outside linebacker in the Michigan defense. And I, I would just like you to start with that and kind of explain to people what that uh, individual does and what he has to deal with in terms of responsibilities. Well, that, that's a tall order because we could talk all day long about the outside linebacker play. But let me try to give a little idea, John. An outside linebacker is, is one who plays in space a little bit, but he also has to have the ability to play on the line of scrimmage. So what happens is, is if you've got a spread formation, uh, in, in, for instance here where you have a spread formation and no tight end, he can play a little bit looser and be more involved in the passing game and uh, so that he helps in the secondary. However, if there's a tight end in that area, he also has to be more involved with the run game. So now he has to play a little bit tighter and sometimes move right up on the line of scrimmage and play as a defensive end. And so uh, he has a lot of responsibilities to play from that particular position. So his, his basic guy is he must always know his keys, knowing where it's going to be run or pass, anticipate what's going to happen in the play, and then uh, uh, with all that, he has to be also a blitzer. As you well know, uh, our, our good outside linebacker was always a guy who was in the second, in the backfield all the time. So he'll be sitting back here and all of a sudden at the last minute come and blitz and hope that they don't have anybody to account for him or if they do then he can beat that blocker and get to the quarterback. So it's a position in which they have to play a lot of different things. They can be a blitzer, they can be a run player, or they have to be able to drop in the area and play pass. So all these effects it depends upon what the formation tells them they have to do and their particular assignments. So it's not an easy position to play. You must be able to blitz, you must be able to drop and play your area, and you also must be able to come up and stop the run when they run the power football at you. So outside linebacker is a tough position to play. You mentioned reading a key. Give us an example of one key that a, an outside linebacker could look for and know, okay, they're going to do this because I'm seeing this. All right, I'm reading through. Let's say that I'm sitting here and I'm reading. So I'm going to read through to the backfield, but I'm going to read through the down lineman. If on the snap of the ball, the down lineman sets up like that, when he sets up, it shows you that he's going to be probably a pass. So I make my step, oh, oh, it's a pass, so I get back and drop to my area. If we have on a snap of the ball, he comes out and blocks hard on that man right there, and the ball comes towards me. I said, uh oh, here comes run. So I got to want to come up and ready to take on the run. And so now the problem is, is when they do play action passing and he shows run, and yet they're faking it and throwing the pass. So that's when you really have to be cautious. So learning all those things, you must learn to read the down linemen what they're doing as well as to what they're doing in the backfield if the ball's coming to you or going away from you. So it, it, uh, it takes a lot of time, takes a lot of effort, and uh, you've got to be a fairly smart football player to continue to do these kind of things. Well, and you know that uh, Michigan has had a, a decent job certainly out of uh, Brennan Byer, Cam Gordon so far, and you got Jake Ryan coming back at that position. So uh, some pretty good depth there, really. Well, what's better than competition? It makes you better. And so it makes you better for as yourself, makes your team better. So the competition is there. Let's move over here to mm -hmm. this side. And uh, we had a question that deals with Michigan running stretch plays in the running game. And sometimes when they don't work out, and you get some penetration from the defensive line behind some of those uh, offensive linemen that are going out to the side. What, what's happening there? What do you see happening and what's supposed to be happening? Well, there, there's a couple of things. Uh, sometimes the defense, the play, makes it tougher to run a zone play, a zone blocking play. And so what, what happens is that sometimes because of the nature of how the defensive man lines up, you have a little bit harder time getting to your blocking assignment. 
And so, for instance, if we were going to run a stretch play to the right, let's say that the quarterback is going to step up and we're going to run the stretch play this way. What we're trying to do is we're trying to hook everybody so that we can run around them. If we can't run around them, then the ball is to cut back. So what happens is, in these situations, if you have an offset, these two are responsible for those two, and these two are responsible for those two, and then these two are responsible for those two. So what happens is, if I lead, if I go and I say, i got to block him, if I lead like that to go block that man, it makes a very difficult block for your center because that man can run through there, and that's really a tough block. So what you have to teach to do is you've got to go through him to help him before you go to there. Now, a lot of times, because you know the stretch is not going to, it's going to be hard, it'll be more of a cutback play. But again, that's what, if you, if you overreach, if, like if he does that and he, and he runs into the back, you're getting a bad blocking angle. So you've got to go through down linemen first to get to your next area. That allows the linebacker to run a little free sometimes, but still, you must control the line of scrimmage first. That's one of the things that's happening as far as the stretch play is concerned. And the same thing happens when we, this happened this week. They had a big nose tackle in there. You knew there was a really a good play. And when we led to that linebacker, that kid was so big and strong and quick, it made a very tough block for your center, or vice versa, if we went this way, it made a very tough block for your guard. So you've got to go through those down linemen and then get up to your second level. And so I think that's what we're looking for. And uh, if, if the ball starts to stretch and all of that keeps going and you can't hit, now if you've got him cut and you can push him, now the cutback can be there. So that's what I look, I look for them to try to improve a little bit on, in that they want to stretch the ball, but if you can't get outside, don't force it. Have enough of a cutoff so you can make your backside. But if you don't get this, you can't have your cut back. Okay, and we'll continue to look at that throughout the season. We appreciate you joining us for uh, this whiteboard segment, and we'll catch you next week. Well, I hope people are enjoying this. I, I hope they can understand what the old coach is trying to get across a little bit. All right. Thanks, Jerry. Thank you.